Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Invader Spam. And I'm Inversion Impulse. So we're going to do a quick video just about the new C CQB expansion, the guns, maps, and the game types. And we're also going to go over uh, about what we think about premium. And why we think it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, first off, we're going to go over the guns. And the Assault gets two new guns, the AUG A3 and the Scar Light. Um, so they're both good guns, all right? But the AUG excels at medium range, nothing else. Uh, all other guns trump it from long and, and, and short. Um, and the Scar is a good long range, but at the same time, you might as well be using a G3 A3 or an AK. Yeah. Um, support gets two new guns. L86A2 and the LSAD. The LSAD, it's kind of a bad gun by itself. It has a low fire rate, high recoil, and medium damage at most. And it only really gets good until you get a foregrip. Once you get a foregrip, it's very manageable and it's not a bad gun. But if you're already used to something else like M249 or Type 88, stick with those because those are better without any attachments. Yeah. And the L86 uh, is basically an assault or a rifle for the support. Um, it kind of, it's it's the in-between place between an IAR and the RPK, uh, but it has a it has a little bit better um, accuracy on both of the guns. So I mean, it it basically is just yeah. the L85 for support. So the next thing we have is the engineer class. Uh, Basically, think of the Premier Famous and then cut the long range and short range and split them. And close range, nothing trumps it. It will kill the fastest gun right there. Yeah. Right now. I mean, unless they turn the corner with a shotgun, but well, then again. Yeah. You know, or a sniper rifle. But yeah. right now, it's very good. And it's still manageable at medium range, but long range, don't hope for anything. It's really bad. The faster at long range. firing rate um, ruins any kind of accuracy long at range. long range. Yeah, the ACR though needs a special note because it's just like the Call of Duty ACR. It is godly. Yeah, it, it, it is the best gun in this expansion so far. Right, it has a very fast firing rate, a couple with average damage. Uh, what I mean by average is it's got lower maximum damage than than normal, but it's got higher minimum damage than normal. So that means your time to kill is very similar from long and short range. So everybody dies around the same time which is really fast and a couple of the extreme accuracy this gun has it excels at close range medium range long range you can use it as a sniper rifle if you really wanted to um it, i would say that it's more of a, a it's more of a twitch gun so like if you had a mouse it would be perfect for you but for those with controllers you might want to use something else like maybe um the A91 or the G36C just because um, the whole the whole twitch factor thing with the mouse. Yeah. And moving on, we have the two recon guns, <coughs> which is the M417 is the first one, and it's a 20 round semi-automatic sniper rifle. Although I hesitate to call it a sniper rifle because it's because I mean, while it 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 has ridiculous r recoil. So you really have to be patient if you're aiming down the sights. Yeah. But at the same time, it has a pretty good hip fire. So if you turn a corner and you get in two solid shots, you you um, kill the person before they can, they can even shoot. Yeah, but you know it does less damage than the 10 round sniper rifles yeah. uh, or 10 round semi-automatic rifles. It's basically the SKS. If you like yeah. the SKS, stick with the SKS, but give it a try if you want something different. You know? yeah. Um, the other gun is the JNG, and this has th this is going to be right up there with the L96 and the M98. If not um, better. Yeah, if 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 not better. Um, from short to medium range, uh, it's an instant headshot. Uh, it basically has no bullet drop. the The only thing I would say to the to those people who kind of like to stay in the medium to long range sniper zone um, is that the bullet speed is what's going to either give you away or make it so you miss the shot um, so you just kind of have to get used to it uh, it, it does kind of 
screw you over sometimes. But that's the fastest re-chamber time, I think, and it does as much damage as the LED6. So it's a really good gun. You can use you, you can even use it to troll around in close range if yep. you really wanted to. It, they basically run the um, a straight pullback. And hollow sight, yep. yep. And then we have the all-classes weapon, which is the Spaz-12 and the M5K, MP5K. So the, the basic thing with the Spaz-12 is that it's inconsistent consistently. And by that I mean that, uh, and, and by that I mean that the hip fire isn't like the best compared like to the 870. But when you aim down the sights, um, suddenly every shot becomes a kill. Yeah. So, so it's basically the 870, but slightly different. It's very similar. If you like the 870, you'll probably like the Spaz 12. Overall, just it's, it's it's another pump shotgun. Yeah, it's another pump shotgun for you to play with exactly. Um, the MP5K though is sort of like another submachine gun. It's really close to the Bad Company 2 PP2000, where close range it just demolishes. Its rate of fire is insane, does decent damage, but it has ridiculous bullet drop off, and anything from medium or long range you should pray for headshots. Okay, Max. Yeah. So we have Operation 925, okay, Scrap Metal. Zeba Tower and uh, Donya Fortress, yeah. and basically you have um, crap, how, 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 how did you put it? Meat grinders. Uh, they're meat grinder one, meat grinder two, meat grinder three, and meat grinder four. There, there are no vehicles on these maps, so they basically they're basically Call of Duty. Let's just face it. You're just running around, hip firing all day, and it's just. A blast, if you like that, definitely takes you out of the Battlefield 3 mindset. Uh, along with these new maps, we come with game, new game modes, and the new game mode is Conquest Domination, which is the part Battlefield Conquest and part Call of Duty Domination, in which you have no set spawns, so all the spawns are random, uh, the cap rates are extremely fast, and it's just fast-paced Conquest, really. Um. <clears throat> the other game mode is uh, Gun Master, which is, in my opinion, a really cool one. Uh, it takes two kills to go into the next weapon, so what you have is you start off with a crappy pistol and then end up having like uh, the, the fully automatic um, shotgun. Um, the only problem with it is that it is not a free-for-all, which means that you'll end up getting these awkward moments where you can't find the enemy team on a map or... Um, <laughs> your team has killed them all so it basically comes down to you hope that your team sucks so then you can get kills because yeah. even at the end uh, it doesn't matter which team wins because it goes by the individual right so it's pretty frustrating especially when you're trying to farm M5K for the first time uh, so basically just play it to farm the M5K once you get it then don't play it until they make it free for all because it's kind of frustrating yeah um, so now we're going to talk about premium. Um, you get five new dog tags, I think. Yeah. And um, you get uh, a new knife, which just looks shiny. Uh, you can reset your stats. Uh, you have priority queue, which means that if servers support that, you get bumped to the front um, t to the front spot if there's a space open. Um, and then you you also get uh, carbon fiber design for for your platoons and your profile. Yeah. You get uh, new camos for guns and yourself, but those are cosmetic and so like the dog tag. Basically, premium all uh, the premium bonuses for now are just dog tags or and camo yeah. and stuff. It's all cosmetic. Uh, what we why we do think it's worth it? It's because you get early access. Yeah, to... you, you get early access to each each expan expansion by a week. Right, uh, and then uh, you get uh, bonus content. Mm -hmm. uh, which is just guns, cam you know, camo, just cosmetics, and then you know, yeah. guns that probably won't change the game that much. Yeah. Um, so I mean, for fifty bucks, you're kind of getting, you know, your money's worth and, and a bit more. If you plan um, on playing Battlefield. Yeah. Like, if you're like exactly. us and plan on playing Battlefield all the way until it's you know end, Dead. so it will be worth it because if you haven't bought Close Quarter yet. Uh, that means you have four expansions left, and that's $60 worth of expansions. Yeah. So, so I mean, 
it's worth it if you plan on playing this game. Yeah. Yeah. And got anything else to add? No. I guess yeah, we're good. Nothing. That about covers it. Well, I guess it's not that short, but uh, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or the suggestions, leave it in the comment below. Please rate if you feel like it. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.